welcome to virtualprivate.com in this video series i'll take you through the nsxt 2.1 installation configuration and management in this particular video i'll show you how to deploy the nsxt 2.1 manager from the ovf template with that let's get started so right click on the management cluster and click on deploy ovf template the OVF template is already downloaded on my local system. Click on local file to locate the uh, NSX manager uh, appliance. So I am going to choose the NSX unified appliance which is uh, uh, the appliance that I use to deploy the NSX manager. Select the file and then click on open. Click on next to proceed and name the virtual machine I'm going to call this particular NSX manager appliance as NSX manager click on next on the select resource page I'm going to deploy this particular virtual machine in management cluster click on next so on the review details page you can see the product version vendor publisher the product is the NSX Unified Appliance. The version in that we are deploying is 2.1 version and the vendor is VMware and the publisher is also VMware. And the download size of this particular OVA file is 2 GB in size. The size on the disk file, if you deploy the virtual machine with a thin provisioned VMDK file, it is going to consume 3 GB in the data store. If you select the thick provisioned disk, the size of the VMDK file is 140 GB. And you can also look for the check the extra configuration, the time synchronization uh, tools, startup, remote display, maximum connection, and all the other details. Once you review the details, click on next. So uh, the NSX manager can be deployed in three different uh, form factors: the small form factor, the medium form factor, and the large form factor. If you deploy the NSX manager in the form in the small form factor. The virtual machine will be provisioned with two virtual CPUs, 8 GB of RAM and 140 GB of storage. If you select the medium form factor virtual machine, the virtual machine is provisioned with four virtual CPUs, 16 GB of RAM and 140 GB of storage. And if you select the large deployment, the large form factor virtual machine, the virtual machine will be provisioned with eight virtual CPUs, 32 GB of RAM and 140 GB of storage. So I am going to deploy the small form factor virtual machine and there is an important description in here which says this configuration is intended for proof of concepts or test environments and this should not be used in the production environment since my deployment is a very small deployment wherein I will manage uh, three to four virtual machines with uh, for uh, transport nodes, I am going to configure ESX04A and ESX05A in the NSX uh, environment and I will also configure the KVM host in this particular environment to, to, or to convert them as a transport node. So let's go ahead and deploy the NSX manager in the small form factor. Click on next to proceed. On the select storage page I am going to provision the virtual machine disk as thin provision disk and I am going to deploy the NSX manager in the management data store select next to proceed and how do you want the connect the virtual machine so I am going to connect this particular virtual machine to the virtual machine port group which is my port group to enable the connectivity between the management nodes so I am going to select the virtual machine port group click OK then click on next to proceed on the customization template page you need to set the passwords for admin account audit account and the root user accounts and also you also need to set the IP address information so let's go ahead and set the admin password so which is the login password to the NSX manager type the password and then confirm the password if you want to make any changes to the default user account you can type the user account here but I'm going with the defaults if you want to make any changes you can change it here 
at the CLI admin username field. So scroll down to set the audit password. I am going to type the password for audit user account. Type the password and confirm the password. Again if you want to make uh, the change to the audit username, if you want some other name to be used for the audit purposes, you can, you, you can type the user account here. Scroll down and set the password for the root user account and confirm the password. So once you set the passwords for the admin account, audit account and the root user account, you can then set the DNS server names. You, you can expand the DNS field and you can type the DNS server name. I am going to use my DNS server which is 192.168.110.10 and the domain that I am configured here is the carp.local domain. So I entered the DNS server name and the DNS uh, server. Type the IPv4 gateway and then set the host name for the NSX manager. I am going to type NSX manager hyphen zero one yay which is my DNS record created for the NSX manager. Type the management network IP address. I am going to use this particular IP address to manage my NSX manager. And then type the net mask for this particular IP range. So 255.255.255.0 is my net mask. So the the appli the appliance that I have used while you while I am con while I am deploying the NSX manager is the unified NSX unified appliance through which I can configure multiple roles. I can use the same OVA file and I can configure the NSX manager as well as NSX policy manager. So I am going to talk more about this in the upcoming videos. So for now I am going to configure this particular machine as the NSX manager. This machine is going to be my NSX manager. I am going to allow the SSH root logins. By default the Linux uh, will not allow the root user to log in remotely to the SS through SSH. So uh, I am making an exception so that the NSX manager can also take the SSH to the NSX manager. And then I am enabling the SSH. In the NTP server list, you can type the NTP server address. So 192.168.110.10 is my NTP server, which provides the time for all the servers that I am running inside this particular domain. Once you, once you fill all the information in customization template page, you can click on next. On the next page, the ready to complete page, you can quickly go through the settings. You can quickly go through what you have entered while you are deploying this particular virtual machine. I have configured the DNS server, the domain name and uh, the IP uh, v4 gateway, the NSX manager uh, host name, the management IP address, the subnet mask, the role that I am configured using the NSX unified appliance is NSX manager. I am allowing the root user to remotely log into the NSX manager. I have also enabled the SSH and then I have enabled, I have entered the NTP server name. Once you quickly go through those uh, details, you can click on finish button so that the NSX manager will be deployed from the OVA file. So this will typically take uh, 5 minutes uh, at max. Once the NSX manager is successfully deployed, I am going to power on this particular virtual machine. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure the how to how to perform the post installation steps on the NSX manager. I will also take you through the command line. How do you perform certain operations from the command line?